around 11 Wednesday morning, an unthinkable call to 911. Lady, I told you, maybe that little girl is dead. You know, guy, maybe she's dying. The call came from a woman who lives here at this CMHA apartment complex on Castle Avenue in Cleveland. The woman claims her brother told her a little girl was in trouble and to call 911. Please, send the ambulance. Okay, it's going to be yeah. too late. She's dead? Yeah. By the time paramedics arrived, it was too late. It appears two-year-old Iris Rivera had been dead for hours. First responders tell the dispatcher what they found. No, PD, this is going to be suspicious. Possible child abuse. She's got bilateral burns on both hands, like a dunking. Oh, and, my uh, God. Losing across the whole forehead. She's got a bite mark on the right elbow. She's got, um, what else? A lot of bruising. Almost like a choking uh, bruise, too, around the neck. God, God. So, Baby Iris was pronounced dead at Metro Health Medical Center, the same hospital where police say her mother was a patient at the time of her little girl's death. Children and Family Services removed four other children between the ages of eight and three from the home. Now as police try to figure out how this two-year-old girl died, neighbors are reacting to this tragedy. I feel sad, man, you know, because it can happen to one of my kids too. And that's, you know, something, you know, unbelievable. You know, it can happen to a, a little child like that. They are, the little girl has a lot of burns on his hands and everything like that. Yeah, break my heart. Make me cry.